because it's New Year's Eve, we want to take a look back at some of the bigger stories we brought to you this year. ABC 21's Crid Rose refreshes our memories about some of the momentous moments that happened in 2019. 2019 saw the trial and sentencing of Mitch Van Rijn, the live-in boyfriend of Amber Garrett and full-time babysitter of her two-year-old son, Malachi. The little boy was beaten to death in 2017 in what the medical examiner said was the worst case of internal injuries to a child he'd ever seen. Van Rijn was sentenced to 40 years in prison. Later in the year, Amber Garrett took a plea deal, with the judge sentencing her to the maximum six years behind bars, saying, quote, you knew exactly what was going on in that house. Garrett will serve six years probation after she's released. At the end of May, one person died and others were seriously hurt when storms tore through Salina, Ohio. Thousands of customers lost power and nearly 2,000 homes and buildings were severely damaged or destroyed across a 10-county area in northwest Ohio. At the Three Rivers Festival in July, Allen County Sheriff Dave Gladio shoved a teenage volunteer who fell and was hurt after he tried to stop the sheriff for being in a private bathroom area that had been locked for the night. A special prosecutor filed a misdemeanor battery charge, which will be dropped if Gladio completes alcohol treatment and anger management programs. Gladio paid a $334 fee and also had to issue a public apology, but the teen and his family served notice they intend to sue and are asking for at least $300,000 for pain, mental suffering, emotional distress, humiliation, embarrassment, and unlawful and excessive force. In August, Promenade Park was unveiled to the public after a wet construction season delayed the grand opening. The $20 million project includes accessibility for all, a tree canopy trail, a playground, fountains, and access to the St. Mary's River. Phases two and three of riverfront development are expected to bring more private investment to the area. In September, General Motors employees went on strike for six weeks, including thousands at the Fort Wayne assembly plant. The United Auto Workers demanded better pay and assurances from GM that temporary workers would be hired on full time. Democratic Mayor Tom Henry won his fourth term in office, which he says will be his last. He and Republican Tim Smith spent millions on their campaigns, which turned nasty early on. In November, more than 15,000 teachers and their supporters swarmed the State House to demand better working conditions and pay, as well as changes to standardized testing. According to the Department of Education, Indiana's average teacher salary is $6,000 less than the national average, ranking the Hoosier State among the lowest in teacher pay. The legislature is not expected to take up the issue until the 2021 session. And after 2018's record high 46 homicides, 2019 looks to end with 29. A police department spokesman credits a better relationship with the community for increased cooperation with investigations. We have a lot of people coming forward, giving us a lot of information. That coupled with great detective work is really coming together and it's given us a really huge clearance rate this year. We're in the 80% clearance rate for our homicides for 2019. She says one homicide is too many. Corinne Rose, ABC 21.